The fact is, Mr. Speaker, that the judge said that the applicants and the Council of Canadians acted in the public interest. And he said the Conservatives made transparent attempts to derail the case. Now, if you were serious about all this, that is the government, you would now, by now have given Elections Canada tools to catch the criminals, Mr. Speaker. Instead, Conservatives have refused all along to strengthen the investigative capacity of Elections Canada. When will they stop the delay, the shielding tactics, and introduce a bill for Elections Canada to be able to find who used that Conservative database to commit fraud? Yeah. The Minister of State for Democratic Reform. Well, Mr. Speaker, let's, know, let's uh, talk about what we actually do know. In fact, the judge dismissed this case because there was no evidence. Right. What else do we know? That the NDP accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars in illegal union donations, Mr. Speaker. Um, and <clears throat> regarding Elections Canada, there was an independent audit which highlighted widespread errors on the, on, on the part of Elections Canada in their operations and during the last election. As I've indicated before, we will bring forward amendments to the law in the not-too-distant future, Mr. Speaker.